What you see here is a plain regular WooCommerce my account page and let's be honest it's a quite boring one. In this video I'm going to teach you how to build something that looks like this which is more visual and uh, much nicer than the default one. So to keep it short let's jump in. First thing you need to do is log in and uh, go to the plugins page. Let's add new and let, let's install the plugin called Cadence Blocks. I have it already installed, you just install it and activate it. Next thing you need to do, you need to open up your account page. I'm using currently the famous Astro team, but this can be done basically with every decent team. So let's edit this page. What do we have here is a shortcut which creates the account page on this site. We are going to modify it a bit. Therefore let's add first block and it's going to be the Gaiden's blocks row layout. Let's choose this one. Now I'm going to move this short code inside this block. I'm going to open up this row layout and I'm going to say let's let it be full width. And from the structure settings I'm going to say that content max width is 1090 pixels. Now let's add another block. This time also a row layout, but this time four column layout. Let's move it up a bit. And now we're going to insert an info box. Style it like this. We're going to delete this text here. Title here. Now what you need to do is you need to go to the WooCommerce settings. advanced and here are the endpoints we're going to use. I am going to show on my account by the orders, edit account, customer logout and addresses. Therefore I'm going to show in first info box the orders page like this here. It looks awful at the moment, but bear with me. So let's open up the title settings on the right. It's going to be H3, font size 18, font family, whatever the font family is it you're using on your site, I'm going to use Poppins. Next one, I'm going to open up media settings and I'm going to change the icon. I'm going to use a cart icon. So far so good. Now we need to add a link to it. So let's open up this setting here and you're going to type here my account and you're going to take this endpoint here orders and paste it here. Now let's save it and preview it. We have our first box set up. Let's click it here and now you'll see all the orders. So far so good. I promise it's going to be easier now. Click on the info box you created and choose duplicate. Now move it to the next column and next one is going to be edit account. Let's change the icon. And let's change the link. I'm going to take this endpoint from here. Click on the info box and change the endpoint here. Update and let's see what happened. Edit account. All right. Here it is. Next one, again 
duplicate, move it to the column. It's going to be address. We're going to take the endpoint here, change the link, and let's change the icon also. Last one to go, therefore, duplicate again. Let's move it to the new column. Let's change the endpoint for customer logout. And also, let's change the icon. Update, refresh. And there you go. We have orders, edit account, address, and oh, we forgot to change the title. Let's fix it. Logout. We need to remove this page title here. This part is depending on your team. I am using the Astra team, therefore, I'm going to open up the document, disable title. I'm going to change the layout to full width stretched. I'm going to update and let's see what happened. Now it's stretched all over the place. I'm going to fix it with a settings for this row layout. Again, structure settings and content max width. On sounds and 190 pixels and now it is like this. Let's add one more row again. This time I'm going to choose the pre-built library and header. I'm going to use this header here but you can create it as you want. I'm going to move it and make it to be full width. Let's delete this block and this block here. I'm going to add the title, my account, update, and here it is. Now, as you see, it's too high uh, for my taste. Therefore, let's make it a bit smaller. Let's click on the header structure settings and here it is minimum height let's set it to pixels and i think 315 is quite good next i'm going to click on this section i'm going to open up this row section and i'm going to move this row a bit up for that i'm going to slide it to make it have a negative margin for example 100 pixels i'm going to update and see what happened okay looks good last thing i need to do i i need to get rid of this old dashboard here for this i'm going i'm gonna go to the appearance and customize I'm going to open up the account page. Here it is. Now I'm gonna add a small bit of a custom CSS. You can find this uh, bit of code in the description of this video. So I'm going to uncomment it and here it is. Publish. And here it is. Orders, account, address, and log out. Now it seems to me that those icons are a bit too big. Therefore, I'm going to click on the info box, media settings, icon size 30 pixels. And now Cadence Blocks allows us to copy the styles. Therefore, I'm going to click here, copy styles, click on the, on the other block and paste styles. Let's do it to all the info boxes here. 
paste styles, update, refresh, and much better. One more thing we need to fix. I'm going to show you what the, does the site looks like for the not logged in user. Your regular customer who is not logged in will see also these info boxes and we do not want them to see them. Therefore, one more thing for you to do is take this row again, choose all the row of the boxes and open up the visibility settings. Now activate hide from logged out users and update. Now if you refresh the logged out view, you'll see that the boxes are gone. As you saw, it's not very difficult to accomplish and uh, this way you can create a custom account page for your customers and uh, as you saw, the possibilities basically are endless. In this channel, I'm going to show you WordPress related tips and tricks. Therefore, please subscribe and you will be the first to see them. Meanwhile, take care.